My name is Charlotte and I work in the Historic Clothing Department at the New Canaan Museum and Historical Society in Connecticut. This is a 1930s wedding dress and matching jacket that we photographed for the exhibit and our database. The dress is a gorgeous bias cut silk gown with a cross detail on the back. The jacket has wrist length sleeves and a row of tiny buttons down the front. Keep watching for the final photo results at the end and the mysterious piece that we just couldn't figure out. Most brides during the 1930s opted for silk or satin dresses with long sleeves and a minimal train and opting for minimal ornamental designs. Hollywood stars became fashion icons and I think this wedding dress definitely evokes a sense of old Hollywood glam. There is one piece of this dress that I will readily admit baffled us. The records indicate that the dress came in three pieces, the gown, jacket, and a long stretch of fabric that we assume is the train. However, upon extremely lengthy and close inspection of both the dress and this piece, we could not figure out how the train attached in this moment or in the past. These snaps would indicate that the train was fastened to the back of the dress just below the crossed detail, but we did spend probably 10 whole minutes trying to match the snaps up, and I will tell you with 100% confidence, they don't. We even looked for signs that snaps had been taken away in the past. There are no holes in the garment, and three pieces that I point out here definitely don't match the remaining snaps on the train. The dress is also in excellent condition, so it's not really possible that anything could have fallen off by accident. I'm sure it's something that we can take a look at again in the future. Here is the dress without the jacket. It looks so beautiful. It reminds me a lot of something you would see in a James Bond movie. And here is the back design and the final photos. Such a timeless dress. Here it is in the back and without the jacket again. Thanks for watching.